welcome to my youtube channel i am dr devashish i am a third year resident of general medicine currently doing my residency in gmers vadodara in gujarat today i will be discussing with you regarding the advantages and disadvantages of taking dnb general medicine as you all have gotten your score in the uh, neat pg 2024 and you will be applying for the pg uh, counseling so that is uh, since uh, starting in some few days so i think this piece of advice might help you so uh, without wasting much time i will be directly uh, telling you the disadvantages of dnb general medicine so first is academics Academic, academics in dnb is really poor in most medical colleges and hospitals across india this is because the nb is controlling the most of the dnb institutes across india and the hospitals they don't really feel feel accountable and they are uh, the teachers are not really uh, responsible for the academics uh, just like this uh, conducting regular seminars conducting regular uh, your uh, journal talks so these uh, they don't think that it is their responsibility to do so nbe has to do that so that is a real uh, uh, the disadvantage so this is the first disadvantage the second disadvantage is the senior junior hierarchy this problem happens because there are very few residents in the dnb who are posted in a particular hospital and there are too many places to work for example some residents will be posted in the wards some residents will be posted in the icu some will be posted in the casualty so you will have limited interactions with your seniors so everybody in uh, medico a medico knows that the, the senior junior interaction is really really very very important in learning in the post graduation so learning becomes difficult when you will have limited interaction this is completely different from your md medicine where they usually have 25 to 30 residents posted in the department and the unit system is also available there so the hierarchy is very well maintained and there is a proper systematic learning so that when when they are taking rounds there will be some 10 uh, people will be there the professor will be there the sr will be there ap will be there the huge grand rounds will be there where there is a their learning becomes very very nice and the environment is also very very nice so another important thing why people they say from taking dnb general medicine is that the fail percentage is very high the however the trend has uh, changed over uh, uh, past few years uh, past 5 years and uh, from from 50 percentage it has increased to uh, 80 percentage over the last uh, april 2023 exam the latest that i'm uh, data that i'm uh, sharing with you and uh, the fourth disadvantage is lack of hands on in uh, dnb private hospitals the the residents they are not allowed to do uh, the important uh, clinical procedures like uh, endotracheal intubation like central line insertion like double lumen catheter insertion needed for dialysis and uh, those stuff they are usually done by the anesthesia residents and the dialysis technical staff because uh, the uh, the anesthesia they are all posted in all the icus and icu management is most of them are done by the anesthesia department in most DN, uh, md hospitals so the uh, uh, so the lack of exposure the fifth disadvantage is lack of exposure if uh, you are posted in some big corporate hospitals then uh, the patients they will not directly show to you you cannot directly see the patient most of them they they pay a huge amount of money and uh, to to show up in private so they will directly show to the consultants they will directly show to the dm uh, the uh, uh, professors the cardiology professors and you will uh, you will not get a very very wide uh, uh, round of cases uh, to deal with so you you will be posted in the wards you will be posted in the a but directly you cannot deal with the patients in opd uh, so, so that is the fifth disadvantage the sixth disadvantage is uh, low wages low stipend in many uh, uh, places in across the country the uh, dnb residents are uh, making strike because of very low uh, stipend that is given to them uh, in many hospitals like west bengal in the south they are paid uh, like 30000 to 40000 which is a, which is a very very meager amount of the uh, as compared to the work that they are, they are really doing in the hospitals so this uh, these are the disadvantages and uh, so so why we should join them 
so i will be telling you some advantages also don't <laughs> get disheartened by this so the first uh, advantage is that there is lack of bond most dnb hospitals they don't have bond so uh, your md counterparts uh, doing the same job they will have two years bond three years bond and they have to go and work over there but after you finish your pg in dnb you are going to be free and you can start your practice after finishing your pg and uh, the second advantage is in some uh, government dnb setup you will get full hands on just like uh, my hospital uh, is a government hospital you can see uh, opd patients up to 500 per day so if you want to do uh, dnb general medicine my advice uh, my advice will be uh, to you to choose the semi government setup where you will be at par with the government uh, md residents okay so it's better to take government dnb so the third advantage is that the examination system the examination system of dnb is very very excellent and it's very tough and it is it, it conducts a really fair exam system so the degree is recognized worldwide even if you want to pursue medicine outside this country then this degree dnb degree is very well recognized the exam level is very tough and you will uh, give exam at in the another state with the examiner whom you have never met in your life even once so it's completely unfamiliar environment you will uh, you, you will become mentally tough and you will become mentally strong so uh, so so the exam uh, uh, system is very very good is in dnb as compared to md where your local uh, hospital only conducts your exam and the practical everyone knows that is not that much fair enough so this thing is there the fourth advantage is is that in most of the dnb hospitals the nursing nursing sisters they are very well trained so they usually take the blood samples of almost all other patients so blood work and sampling is uh, not to be done by the dnb resident but uh, your counterpart md medicine resident the first year is completely exhausted and uh, he he does the blood sampling part he does the form filling part so this this thing is uh, done by the first year and first year is fully wasted by this uh, this clerical stuff so this is uh, the fourth advantages the fifth advantage of the taking dnb is there are good uh, icu facilities most of the uh, dnb hospitals in india have proper icu facilities icu care is uh, very good as compared to the government uh, run hospitals because the setup is great and patient doctor the ratio is also very good so proper care and managing of the patient in icu becomes easier for the dnb residents uh, i hope this uh, video really helps if you are real uh, and you you pursue general medicine if you are really passionate about the subject and uh, don't take the subject just because you have secured a good rank um, if you have really passionate and determined uh, determined to take uh, general medicine then only you take hope this uh, video really helps you all guys and uh, like and subscribe to my channel okay and uh, wish me good luck for my exams